Hey y'all, it's me Kimberly Clark and welcome to this video talking about some amazing YouTube channels. If you're not familiar with the term STEM, it's an acronym that refers to science, technology, engineering, and math. You know why I support feminism and gender rights, but I think it's also important to kind of promote knowledge and science and reality. Reality is like one of the coolest things that we got, right? Like science is the ultimate kind of study and appreciation of reality. It utilizes real physical things that happen to create technologies, to make new, better, more amazing things. The fact that I'm even speaking to thousands of you right now is a direct result of millions of hours of amazing scientific work by countless individuals. So anytime there is a kind of movement to help promote science and practical thinking, I 100% support that. And when that kind of thinking is tied in with another one of my interests, which is supporting women and promoting feminism, girl, sign me up. I'm in. I'm in. I, I actually asked y'all on Instagram what your favorite STEM channels by women were, and I got some amazing suggestions, so thank you all for that. So let's just jump in. The first channel I want to talk about is Erica Griffin's channel. Erica is like a full-on technology nerd. She is like infinitely knowledgeable about every new product that comes out. I'm not like a huge like follower of trends of technology, like in terms of my own purchasing. Like I don't buy every iPhone that comes out. I don't buy every new thing. My computer is really old, like that type of, like I'm not one of these people. But I love following those trends, even in like a kind of vicarious way through YouTube videos, for example. But I find that a lot of those dudes could just be really awful. Like, they're like, I'm not like some of the bro -iness. like it's just like a little too much, like they're just like too like, ugh. if you ever tried to like watch like an unboxing video with like a nerdy tech dude, like it can just like irritate, it could like, like scrape on your, you know, feminist soul a little bit. But Erica is amazing. She's she's just like a really sweet, awesome woman that is like insanely knowledgeable about technology and like has all these like amazing things to say and like ways that she compares different products to each other, like remind me of me. They're very practical, they're very pragmatic. They don't seem to be swept up in this kind of like growy nerdiness, which I just appreciate as someone who has never identified as a bro. I like that. So check out Erica if you want to hear about the latest technology and consumer electronics without the side of bro. It's nice to have a streamlined non-bro meal once in a while. Just leave the bro on the side. Next is Fran Blanche. Ugh. I love Fran so much. I, like, I initially found her, I don't know what, like, like a year or two ago, I think because of her guitar pedals. She's an amazing, I don't play guitar, but I, like, am obsessed with that musical tech. I'm, I'm a musician, I play piano and stuff, and I love technological stuff relating to music. And I found her, I think, via her line of guitar pedals, Frantone. She has demo videos of them on her channel, and, like, they sound amazing. And, like, I, like, would love to invest in one of them someday, even just for me to play around with like my accordion and stuff, you know, and like do some funky, awesome fuzz distortion, like just really cool stuff. So she's like an amazing producer, like she owns this business of, of guitar pedals. But she also is just like an amazing electronics person. So she talks about these really fascinating things like plastic friction welding. She repairs an old word processor, like a, like a typewriter word processor. And like, oh, I, I think it's so fascinating. I've been getting into making a lot more and I've been making my own clothes, which I will be expanding this channel to include more videos like that. Little heads up for you if you're interested in that. Give this video a thumbs up, let me know. I've been using this old sewing machine and it, it got, it busted and I had to repair some of it. And so I love just like what, like going, like having videos where people even if it's not like helpful for me like I just love like seeing someone take apart something and put it back together and Fran is such like an electronics whiz that it's so amazing to like watch her narration and unpacking of these like amazing pieces of technology like oh it's just so satisfying and she's such a sweetheart like every time her videos come on she says 
fine. It's Fran. It's just like the sweet, like she's so adorable. Like you just gotta love her. She's amazing. She also has amazing ideas about women in the music industry. It's definitely an industry that if you've been a part of it in any capacity, like I have, you know that there is death, like, like many industries, misogyny and hypermasculinity pervades a lot of aspects. And the music industry is not an exception to that, you know? So there's this one amazing panel discussion that she posts like an hour or something long. I watched the whole thing, it's fabulous. It's this amazing in-depth kind of look at women in the music industry and I, I just love it. It's just, it's just like great. It feels good to hear people talking about these things in the same way that a lot of you have come up to me in person and in life and, and online and said, you know, it just feels good to hear someone saying these things, like what I say in my Listen Up series. Like it just feels good to hear it. And that's how I feel about Fran. Like it feels good to hear someone who's an industry professional talking about the issues that women have in music. It just feels good to talk, even if I don't personally, as a man, have those issues. It just feels good to hear them being voiced because it means that some of those problems will be able to be resolved in a more practical way. Anyway, so I love Fran for her technological wizardry and her ideological pragmatism. Yes, yes girl, yes, thank you. Yes big words, yes Fran Blanche, yes. Okay, next up we've got Number File. Number File is not exclusively run by women, but it's a mathematics driven YouTube channel. I'm a nerd. I'm a math nerd. I didn't love math. I was really good at math as a kid, but I, I, I hated it, but I was like, I was really good at it. So I was on like Math Olympiad and all those teams and stuff, and I just like hated being around it because I thought the whole aesthetic of all of that world was just so gross and boring and like whoa. But Number File is this amazing YouTube channel that very practically explains extremely complicated mathematical concepts. Two mathematicians that are part of that channel are women, Hannah Fry and Holly Krieger. Like all of the mathematicians on Number File, they're experts at explaining things in a basic and user-friendly way. And honestly, I feel like math is something that is so helpful to understand for practically doing anything. Like I said, I've been sewing a lot, I've been making a lot of clothes, and I've been like relearning all these like basic mathematical concepts to help me very quickly and easily make all these garments and stuff. I just like, I, it really is this thing that I feel like has been unfortunately misrepresented in our educational system like forever. And you know, what's more, it's always been gendered. Like math has been this thing that's like, boys are good at math, girls aren't. I just love seeing these amazing, complicated mathematical theories explained by these amazing mathematicians, and some of them are women. I just love it, it's fabulous. It's breaking down that kind of gender stereotype that only men are good at math. It's also breaking down the kind of stigma that so many of us have around math. We think we're not smart enough, we think we're too stupid, we think we can't get it. These people make it so easy to understand and practical, and I think it will just like enrich your world to watch some of these videos. So please, especially go check out Hannah and Holly's videos on Number File. <gasps> I love them. Love them. Okay, then we've got The Brain Scoop. This is a channel that is run by Emily Grassley. She is a correspondent at the Field Museum in Chicago, which is like an amazing anthropology museum where they have like objects and sci like uh, historical things and artifacts and all that kind of stuff. But she goes in depth into like all these amazing objects from an anthropological and historical perspective. She has a recent video about shoes where she talks about the kind of like practical anthropological reasons that shoes are the way they are. The design of them has evolved in different cultures and in different ways. It's so fascinating to hear all of those things concisely wrapped up in these beautiful videos. And Emily does a phenomenal job of doing that. And what's more, Emily has like been very vocal about women in the STEM field. And actually her video about women in science and technology was one of the kind of impetuses for me making this video. So thank you, Emily, for doing the amazing work that you do. And thanks for inspiring me to help support and promote others that do that. Okay, then we've got another fellow Patreon. If you don't know I'm on Patreon, link down below, check it out. So is Dr. Lindsay Doe, and she's a channel called Sexplanations. She is a sexologist. She's like a psychologist that focuses on the ways that we deal with sexuality. It is so 
fascinating. I feel like studying sex and gender and the ways that sex and gender influence so many aspects of our society obviously is something that is very dear to my heart. Check out my video on gender if you want proof of that. But it really helps the destigmatization of so many aspects of our society that have traditionally been used to basically support the patriarchy, i.e. help men succeed and help women fail, you know. By unpacking and really going in depth into these social trends, these psychological trends, the scientific basis for the way that we act in different sexual ways and the way that our sexualities operate, it really helps destabilize the systems that have traditionally been used to oppress women in our society. And she is such a freaking amazing explainer. I'm a sucker for someone that can explain a complicated concept to me in a very understandable way, and Dr. Lindsay Doe, she's maybe the best. She's the be she's amazing at it. She's so good. Please check out Sexplanations. Love her. She's amazing. Okay, and finally, this is another person who, like, I would love to be friends with her in real life. Like, she's, she's amazing. This is Simone Geertz. I'm sure you've heard of her, but she has a channel where she makes shitty robots. She's like, she's amazing. She's so cool. Like I said, I'm, I've been into making. I love making stuff. I love watching the stuff that she makes. And recently, she made a pussy grabs back machine. She made a machine that you attach to your pussy and it grabs back. She's a nerd after my own heart. I love her. Like, I don't need to say any more about her, but like, just please check out her channel, check out her videos. I love like how it like really brings like technology down to this kind of like fun human scale. She's like just super fun. She used to live in a boat. Like she's just like awesome. She's like a rad, rad chick that you just like want to be friends with. This is like what science needs. Like we need people to make these very important fields palpable, interesting, and entertaining. And Simone is like the queen of all that. I love it. I love it. She's amazing. Check her out. I'm a member of the Shitty Robot Nation. And I'm proud. And I love you. I love you, Simone. I hope I have shared with you some amazing women out there on the internet, on this beautiful YouTube land that you may not have heard of before, or maybe you have heard of them before and you love them too. If you do, like, let me know who your favorites are down below. If there are people that I've left out that you just, like, think should be included in this list, let me know. Tell me. Tell me. I want to, I'm, knowledge is power. More, more, more. We want to spread the knowledge, spread the wealth. Yes. I, yes. Yes. <laughs> if you are confused about why this video exists, I, there's a lot, we got a lot of work to do, right? If you're like, why are you just talking about women channels? Why are you just, why are you just talking? Isn't that sexist to just be talking about women? You gotta back up, you gotta watch more of my videos. Cause we've talked about this, we've been there, no. By promoting women in science and technology, it's not taking anything away from men. Just as Harley says in my Women's March video, there's not one little pizza, there's more dough in the back. There's plenty to go around. We need to support everyone doing everything. And unfortunately, women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are not as supported in our society as men are. And I am here, and this video is serving the purpose of helping to support them more. And if you're a young woman out there that watches my channel and you are interested in science and technology and engineering and mathematics, please check out some of the channels that I've listed. I'll put all their info in the description box below. I'll help you get some practical makeup advice too. I'll help you not buy that eyeshadow palette, but these ladies down below are also gonna help you fulfill your dreams of becoming the amazing, nerdy, fabulous scientist that you deserve to be. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye.